guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how I make my zucchini frittata. It is very simple and quick to make. I contemplated showing this recipe because it is so simple. Um, I did a frittata in another episode a while back, but I figured, you know what? This is what I go to over and over again, and I'm sure that it's something that you probably, you know, um, relate to as far as using this recipe for any kind of leftover veggies you have on hand. If you're anything like me, Sunday mornings, clean out my fridge before I go to the supermarket and whatever I have left over is Sunday brunch, it's frittata every single week. So today we're making a zucchini frittata because I had one zucchini left and I had to put it to good use. So let's go over the ingredients to get started. You're going to need one large zucchini that I have just cut into about one inch dice. You're going to need some eggs, some fresh parmigiano reggiano, a little bit of milk, some garlic, some parsley, salt, pepper, and olive oil. Those are your ingredients, and like I said, this is a recipe I go to time and time again uh, with whatever I got left over. You know, today just happened to be one lonely zucchini that wasn't enough to really make anything with besides like a frittata or toss it with pasta or something like that. And like I said, I gotta go food shopping today, so gotta use everything up. We do not wanna waste a thing. Okay, first thing you wanna do is get about a nine inch saute pan or skillet, mine's non-stick, and I have about a tablespoon of olive oil preheating over medium high heat. And while that heats up, I'm just going to break my eggs right into this bowl so we can start on getting everything ready. I'm just gonna do it right in here. My eggs are done, I'm gonna set them aside for just a minute because my oil is preheated enough, and I'm going to add in my zucchini. And I'm just going to saute this for maybe about five to six minutes. And you're going to just keep stirring until the zucchini develops just a nice golden brown color. And while that happens, we're going to finish the rest of our mix here. So I have the eggs. I'm going to put in a little bit of milk, about a half a cup. And now I'm just going to grate in a good amount of freshly grated Parmesan Reggiano, obviously. We're grating it fresh, so it's freshly grated. Just want to put in as much or as little as you want. It's got a real nice salty taste. It gives a nice salty bite. It's fabulous. But you want to make sure you use the good stuff. The stuff that comes in a big block and it's got the writing on the rind. That's when you know you got good stuff right there. So you can just put in as much or as little as you want. That's about enough for me because I'm going to put some on the top as well. Put in a little bit of salt. Not too much salt in the eggs because we'll also have the parmigiano in here which is salty and I'm going to season the zucchini with some salt and pepper in just a minute. So you don't want to go too crazy with the salt. Nice fresh grip black pepper. And just whisk this together until everything is nicely combined. My zucchini is looking perfect. It's got a beautiful golden brown color. Now I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. And the reason why I didn't season it right off the bat is because I wanted the zucchini to develop a little bit of color before I gave out all of its moisture, which would kind of not make it brown as much as quickly. So that's why I let it get some color, then season. I'm also going to put in some fresh chopped garlic, not a whole lot. And again, I didn't put this in the beginning because by the time the zucchini got this color, the, the garlic would have burned. So you don't want to eat burnt garlic because it tastes really bitter and just not pleasant. So this is going to take about a minute for the garlic to cook. That looks fabulous. Now I'm going to just pour my egg mixture right over the top. Beautiful. And now here's what I'm going to do. With my handy dandy little wooden spoon here, I'm just going to push this in itself, as you see what I'm doing, so that when the first layer sets, I push it in so another layer can set. So that way, it kind of allows the eggs to cook a bit more evenly. And you want to do this for about a minute or so, or until you have the bottom be pretty nice and set. And also, in the meantime, you want to preheat your broiler. I have mine preheated to high because sometimes, I mean, depending on your oven, you can preheat it to high or low. I preheat mine to high. And I'm just going to let this cook for, uh, let's say, about five to six minutes or until the bottom has set really nicely. And then I'll show you the next step. My frittata is looking amazing. I don't know if you can see, but the bottom has developed a lovely golden color. It's nice and set. So really, all we're looking for is for the very top to set. That's it. But before we put that into the broiler, under the broiler, I should say, I'm going to sprinkle over a little bit of parsley. Not a whole lot, because I want to finish. I want to finish it off with some more parsley when it comes out. And then I'm going to grate some parmigiano all over the top for that lovely cheesy bite. As soon as you put into it, you got that cheese. Mmm, delicious. 
delicious. I was going to say delightful, and then I decided to go with delicious, so it came out and it's like a delicious. Word of the day. Okay, now I'm going to pop this under the broiler, and if your oven doesn't have a broiler, you can just put this into the oven at a high temperature, 450 degrees Fahrenheit. All my baking is done in Fahrenheit, and just cook it until the top is set and golden. So I'm just going to pop this in the broiler for just a few minutes until it's done. Look at that, huh? That is just amazing. I don't even need the spatula, it comes right out. It was just under the broiler for literally two minutes. That's all I needed because you don't want to overcook eggs because eggs is a pr you know, they're a protein. So like any protein, if you overcook it, they're like terrible to eat. So you want to cook them just until they're not jiggly anymore. But that is perfect. I love that. So I just want to cut into it so you can see what it looks like. This should be nice and fluffy. Look at that. Just set. See that? That is perfect. Now I know... This is probably really bad because the steam is ridiculous, but I have to get like a bite into this right away. It's going to take me a few minutes to make it so that my mouth doesn't burn, but I'll get there. Mm. That is perfection. It's simple, it's quick, it's easy, it's inexpensive. What's less expensive than eggs? A little bit of cheese. And then whatever you have left over. It can be zucchini, it can be yellow squash, it can even be eggplant, it can be mushrooms, it can be anything you have on hand. Sauteed zucchini, uh, sauteed spinach, you name it, you can do a frittata, which is with anything left over. I'm going back for more. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. To get this recipe and others, go to www.lauranikitchen.com and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>